Welcome to Tech is a New Black, where we tell you the latest in technology and help you sound a little smarter at your next dinner party. Today we're going to talk about cutting the cord. So there's all these things today about Netflix, Amazon Prime. I mean, I barely watch regular TV anymore. That's right. Um, so do you think I can stop my cable? You know, a lot of people really want to cut the cord and move away from cable. And, you know, recently there's a huge announcement where HBO announced that you'll be able to buy HBO Go as a standalone service for right. streaming and not have to have a cable connection. CBS the very next day came out and said that you'll be able to have access to the entire CBS archive, old movies, current shows, old shows, all of it for a subscription service. And so a lot of people are wondering, you know, can we get away from a big cable bundle sure. that has all those channels and go to kind of a mini bundle of Hulu and HBO to go and Amazon Prime and Netflix or something like that and get everything that I want. And it, while we might not be there yet, we're getting closer every day. Sure, so you could just get whatever sports channel if you want it and then whatever individual channels and then just stream everything else? That's right. So what's really the big thing is that if ESPN would go, that was that's kind of the hold up, right? Sure. Is you know, me and my friends be talking like, well, if you could stream these things that are already streamable and then bolt on ESPN, that'd be great. Right. But the problem right now is that it's way too lucrative for ESPN to keep it inside the cable, you know, market. As a cable subscriber, you pay about six dollars a month for ESPN. You don't see it because it's inside that bill. Gotcha. And they have 100 million cable subscribers nationwide. So that's like six billion dollars in revenue. Wow. So they would need like a quarter of those people to pay $25 a month to kind of balance out those numbers. And 25 bucks a month for ESPN seems like a lot to most people. Right. So ESPN is kind of the big holdup right now, but the economics don't really work for them to take that and unbundle it and allow you to subscribe to it. Sure. So really, it's going to be about affordability at that point. You know, it sounds great. Yes. Because again, if you stream most everything anyway and just add in a few, it sounds great, but it may not be affordable. That's right. That's kind of that convenience thing is that we all think, oh, wow, that'd be great if I sure. could get rid of the channels I don't watch right. and just get the ones that I do. Right. But to make that make economic sense for those people, by the time you added all those pieces up in an a la carte, you know, setting, you'd probably be, be right back where you are, you know, on cable. But gotcha. there are some great things that make a lot of sense around that. And there's new revenue models for those content providers like Netflix and some of sure. their special shows that they have for them to make money on unique programming for them. Right. So I guess we shouldn't cut the cord just yet. I wouldn't cut the, I put away the scissors. Don't okay. cut the cord just yet, but you're closer to being able to cut the cord than you've been ever before. Sure. Cool. Thanks, David. And make sure for more Tech is a New Black, you subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you follow us online. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Tech is a New Black.